October in the Tennessee Valley can only mean one thing, and that means it is time for Lake Winnipesaukee, and that's where we are this morning. We have had a chance to come over and find out about the magic that takes place before you and your family comes to get spooked in the month of October. Let's go take a tour. So now I've arrived in the mask room in the Clown Cottage, one of three haunts that you'll find at Lake Winnie Pespuka. Ron Bonine is the director of Spuka. Thanks for letting me come in. You're welcome. It's a lot more fun, I'll go ahead and use that word, for an adult to come in by day than by night. This place gets creepy at night. Yes, ma'am, it does. So you are one of a large team that creates Lake Winnie Pespuka right? That's correct. There's dozens of us that are coming together to make this happen. You've got this fantastic, um, I guess you sound like your director of operations sort of, uh, or the, the haunt guy named Mark Hanna. Yeah, he is our um, creative director here at Spooker. What are you guys chattering about? I'm trying to sleep here. <laughs> okay. You have no idea how hard and long we've been working on this thing. Let's talk a little bit about this creepy guy <laughs> because he's quite popular around here, right, Ron? Yes, he's been one of our main characters in at Winnipesaukee for a long time now. I would say star, personally. A personal star. <laughs> you yourself have had an experience on a summer's day coming into your office when this guy was sitting in there and it freaked you out even then. 100%. I walked in my office and he was sitting there staring at me. It freaked me out, scared me half to death. So I have to put my mom hat on. I think I never take my mom hat off. But I said at the beginning that we're so lucky to have Lake Winnie here. I mean, it yeah. itself is a treasure. You throw in Spooka and there are a lot of family memories well, on these grounds, right? Of course, 100%. And I yes. think if you did a poll, as much fun as the water park is and as much fun as the rides are by summertime, the fall at Lake Winnie is a treasure for people. I think so. I, th I think when the fall gets here, we not only have our haunts, but it's, it's basically like a fall festival here. Mm -hmm. We have parades down the dam every hour on the hour. We have a light show that goes with it. We throw candy to the kids. All of our rides are open, and then you have our three haunts. So you're a dad of two, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. Or more yeah. than two. Yeah, I have two. Okay, yeah. so they're kind of little. Yeah. 11 and 8? I have 11 and 7. Okay, so for them, if they're big enough for the horror, like this creepy guy here, that's <laughs> fun. But if you have a child who you're afraid might be a little bit really freaked out, yeah. you can come and enjoy the beauty and not even get afraid while you're here. Exactly. It's not just about the haunted houses and scaring, you know, everyone else. We have a lot of things to, with the kids. You know, we have candy at each ride. We um, have costume contests for the kids. Yeah. Um, but, but what's the fun of coming here and not getting scared, right? I can't think of a single thing, but I have to tell you that this guy's a lot less frightening right now than he would be at night. I'd be running up the hill by Dumbo's ride if I ran across him exactly. at night. Well, I just haven't been getting much sleep lately, you know, with, with as much as we've been working. I'm usually uh, mistaken for Brad Pitt, so <laughs> that, that'll show you how hard we've been working. And of course, Brad Pitt from 20 years ago, not the current Brad Pitt. He, he's starting to show some mileage. Are we lucky enough to have him talking to us? When you're at Lake Winnie and you see these clowns and characters, do they typically talk to you? Yeah, we have tons of clowns running around here. We don't scare the kids, but we do have clowns that you're going to interact with throughout the whole experience. So Can you say selfie with a clown? Because I can. Selfie with a clown. You know what? Hold on. Let's do one. There you go. So I have to tell you that Again, I'm a big chicken, and I would not pay any attention to the artistry behind him if I was, got, if I was getting spooked yeah. at Lake Winnie's Pespuka. But to watch him up close, this is amazing talent you have here, Ron. Yes, it is. We have some really good actors and really good talent coming in this year. I mean, look at his tongue. Look at his <laughs> mouth. That's <laughs> unbelievable how you've been able to do this. And I would think it's rather competitive because I mentioned that you are this treasure and in, in sure. really for the country. We're almost 100 old, years old, you know. I, almost as old as the clown. 2025. <laughs> 2025 will be Ouch. 100 Ouch. years. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so this is one of where we are now in the clown cottage. This is one of three haunts I mentioned. This year the train is haunted. Yes, we have a haunted train. and. We have another haunt, which is our zombie hospital. Chattanooga 
Zombie Containment Center. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. so, it's, a, it's a professional, government funded, so no way anything could possibly go wrong, facility where uh, visitor tours are welcome. So for some reason, zombies don't freak people out as much as clowns. I know, it's, it's crazy. We, just the thought of this clown haunt keeps hundreds of people away from coming in here. When I came in, I mean, you saw me kind of confidently going through this yeah. slinky area that they have to get you into the mask room. But when I first came in, it was pitch dark. Yes. And Mark, Hannah, who you were talking about, was the one kind of getting me through here. And I got to this certain point and I was afraid to move. He told me to turn left, but I wasn't sure I trusted him yet. Exactly. That's, <laughs> to want to do it. That's what we want in these haunts. We, we, we want that, you know, experience and, and feeling. So it, every weekend, it's Friday and Saturdays only. Yes. in the month of October, which takes you right up to Halloween weekend. Exactly. How fun will that be? It's going to be amazing. It's going to be one of our best Octobers. Um, this is, we've been doing this about 11 years now. We missed the last couple of years due to COVID, but we're going to make this year better than ever. I'm glad that you said that about Sorry. missing it due to COVID because that has hurt the community. Mm -hmm. It's been a, a a rite of passage for a lot of people to mark the year. Um, but Lake Winnie is part of the Chattanooga yes. fabric, and we kind of owe it to you to support <laughs> you this year. Well, thank you. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to make this one a great year for sure. Tickets you can get online ahead of time, or yes. you can get them at the gate? At the gate or online at lakewinnie.com. Mm -hmm. You make it affordable yes. for families to come Yes, very and affordable. And I guess that this guy is just so intimidating and creepy, no one's ever dared to give him a name? <laughs> no, not at all. He is just, he, you never know where he's going to pop up. He's Right. So you can be watching for him when you come uh, to Lake Winnie Paspuka. By the way, that's how you pronounce it. No autographs, please. I'm too famous for that. <laughs> All right, don't ask him for an autograph, but you can go online or just grab your friends and come to the gate Fridays and Saturdays. Gates open at what time? We open at 6 and we close at 11. Okay, fun, fun. I yes. wish my kids were still little. I know. I'll have hey, to hey, come hey, anyway. Don't forget the funnel cakes. The yeah. green funnel cakes. We have green funnel cakes and we have other fall festive foods. So. To match this creepy guy's hair. Exactly. Well, that's, that's why they make them green. So if any of my uh, hair gets in there when I help make them, you know, nobody <laughs> yeah. will know. He's a funny clown, too. Yeah. Thank you for the tour. <laughs> You're welcome. There'll be more three plus you right after this. <laughs> hey, everybody. We're